Isis is a pulsed neutron and muon source. It is situated at the Rutherford Appleton Laboratory on the Harwell Science and Innovation Campus in Oxfordshire, United Kingdom and is a part of the Science and Technology Facilities Council. It uses the techniques of muon spectroscopy and neutron scattering to probe the structure and dynamics of condensed matter on a microscopic scale, ranging from the subatomic to the macromolecular. Hundreds of experiments are performed annually at ISIS by visiting researchers from around the world, in diverse science areas including physics, chemistry, materials engineering, earth sciences, biology and archaeology, neutrons and muons. Neutrons are uncharged constituents of atoms and penetrate materials well, deflecting only from the nuclei of atoms. The statistical accumulation of deflected neutrons at different positions beyond the sample can be used to find the structure of a material, and the loss or gain of energy by neutrons can reveal the dynamic behavior of parts of a sample, for example diffusive processes in solids. At ISIS the neutrons are created by accelerating bunches of protons in a synchrotron, then colliding these with a heavy tungsten metal target under a constant cooling load to dissipate the heat from the 160 kilowatts proton beam. The impacts cause neutrons to spall off the tungsten atoms, and the neutrons are channeled through guides, or beam lines, to around 20 instruments, each individually optimized for the study of different types of interactions between the neutron beam and matter. The target station and most of the instruments are set in a large hall. Neutrons are a dangerous form of radiation, so the target and beam lines are heavily shielded with concrete. ISIS produces muons by colliding a fraction of the proton beam with a graphite target, producing pions which decay rapidly into muons, delivered in a spin-polarized beam to sample stations. Science at ISIS ISIS is administered and operated by the Science and Technology Facilities Council. Experimental time is open to academic users from funding countries and is applied for through a twice-yearly call for proposals. Research allocation, or beam time, is allotted to applicants via a peer review process. Users and their parent institutions do not pay for the running costs of the facility, which are as much as £11,000 per instrument per day. Their transport and living costs are also refunded whilst carrying out the experiment. Most users stay in Ridgeway House, a hotel near the site, or at Kozner's House, an STFC-run conference center in Abingdon. Over 600 experiments by 1,600 users are completed every year. A large number of support staff operate the facility, aid users, and carry out research. The control room is staffed 24 hours a day. Every day of the year, instrument scientists oversee the running of each instrument and liaise with users, and other divisions provide sample environment, data analysis and computing expertise, maintain the accelerator, and run education programs. ISIS is also one of the few neutron facilities to have a significant detector group that researches and develops new techniques for collecting data. Among the important and pioneering work carried out was the discovery of the structure of high-temperature superconductors and the solid phase of Buckminster Fullerene. Construction for a second target station started in 2003, and the first neutrons were delivered to the target on December 14, 2007. TS2 uses low-energy neutrons to study soft condensed matter, biological systems, advanced composites and nanomaterials. The International Muon Ionization Cooling Experiment runs parasitically off the ISIS proton beam. Instruments The instruments currently at ISIS are Target Station 1 ALF, CRISP, Engine X, FIRES, GEM, HET, HRPD, INES, IRIS, LOQ, MAPS, MARI, MERLIN, OSIRIS, PEARL, POLARIS, PRISMAR, ROTAX, SANDALS, SURF, SXD, TOSCA, VESUVIO, INTERMEDIATE TARGET STATION 1, MUON INSTRUMENTS EMUMUSR HIFI RIKEN BEAMLINE, 
Target Station 2 Chapia under construction, IMAT under construction, Inter, Lama under construction, Let, Nimrod, Offspec, Pole Ref, Sans 2D, Wish, Zoom under construction, History and Background of ISIS. The source was approved in 1977 for the RAL site on the Harwell campus and recycled components from earlier UK science programmes including the Accelerator Hall which had previously been occupied by the Nimrod Accelerator. The first beam was produced in 1984, and the facility was formally opened by the then Prime Minister Margaret Thatcher in October 1985. The name Isis is not an acronym. It refers to the ancient Egyptian goddess and the local name for the River Thames. The name was selected for the official opening of the facility in 1985. Prior to this it was known as the SNS, or Spallation Neutron Source. The name was considered appropriate as Isis was a goddess who could restore life to the dead, and Isis made use of equipment previously constructed for the Nimrod and Nina accelerators. The second target station was given funding in 2003 by Lord Sainsbury, then science minister, and was completed in 2009, on time and budget, with the opening of seven instruments. In April 2010, the science minister, David Willits gave a £21 million investment to build four new instruments, which are due to be brought into operation in 2015. ISIS was originally expected to have an operational life of 20 years, but its continued success led to a process of refurbishment and further investment, which has extended its operational life for a further 20 years. In popular culture, the final episode of Series 1 of the Spartacle Mystery was filmed on site.